What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flying Brian's Garage. In today's video... Damn train. In today's video, we will be working on the general again. And we have a perfect candidate for it. This 18 horse, 691 cc opposed twin engine that we have pulled off of the green tractor which that is a uh, tractor we have in the back that y'all will probably already have seen a part one on and we're working on part two it's in the back right now we just dropped it off and uh, we're gonna be working on it after this video so um, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the general out. Probably going to go ahead and load it on the trailer here. Uh, drag it up to the front where the van is. Get the battery off of the red tractor that I'm riding right now. Put it on the general. I want to do some laps in the yard and figure out what its top speed is before I take the engine off. Put the other engine on. That way we can kind of see if there is a... Uh, difference I'd like to be able to tell if I've made a difference or it's just the same speed with a bigger engine <clears throat> so with that being said let's get into today's video all right guys we got the general up here with the with the red tractor um, actually going to take the battery off that one we're gonna slip it on this one real quick and then uh, hopefully be riding this thing. I am risking blowing the engine because it is blowing a lot of oil, but I want to see a top speed on it before we take it apart. This engine's junk anyway. I um, really don't care if I blow it too much. So let's uh, get a battery slipped in this thing, get it off the trailer, and uh, take a full ride and get a top speed all right we have battery in the general took it out of that mower so we have a battery in it pretty much ready to go all I gotta do is cut the fuel on I'm gonna try to see how fast I can get this thing without completely blowing it to hell okay it's got right amount of oil in it so, I should have enough oil for a little bit at least. Alright, we got us a speedometer out. We're going to see what this thing will do. Maybe, maybe blow it up, maybe not blow it up. Um,
sounds like it's cooking bacon. Oh yeah, that sounds like it's cooking bacon. Let's see. It's only five miles an hour. Dang, that ain't fast. It says average speed 5.5 .5 miles an hour. That ain't nothing. Um, I think I'm gonna run it again. Try to run it with it in my hand. Cause I can't see. I think it's just the average speed. I saw 15 on the dot. 15 miles an hour is how much I've got out of this so far. So now we know if we get any more than 15, we've sped it up with that engine in there. All right, guys, it is another day, well, the next day out here. Got the general up here. We're about to uh, start disassembling and getting ready to remove this engine. So we can make room for the pose twin that is hanging right above it. So let's uh, go ahead and start disassembling and getting us a uh, engine off here. So I'm going to put the cover back on this engine just before I pull it. Just because I wanted to be with it and cover everything up. Keep everything protected. But I wanted to let y'all see. We were working with one starter bolt. The reason it was gushing uh, oil is because this was not sealed properly. And that is actually the uh, crankcase vent. So it was spewing out of there when I actually had a catch can that was over here hooked to that hose for it to actually shoot it into the catch can and I could just put it back into the system but instead it was coming out here our fans turned this way and in turn it was slinging the oil on this side makes enough sense to me um, as you see everything is wet in there still from oil and stuff of that sort so this engine may still be good um, I did also notice when I was running it and it would get kind of at temperature the oil would kind of bubble out from around the uh, valve cover gasket area so 
really in all reality a valve cover gasket and, and a better seal on that crankcase vent tubing and it should actually still be a good engine tap the hole there and put a another bolt in the starter but we're going to pull it anyway because post twin power I don't want this crap that's an Intec it can go on something else if it's still good so what we're going to do is we're about to go ahead and put the top back on it and man, pin was starting to work its way out and towards the mm, no good but yeah let's go ahead and get ready to put the cover back on it and pull this engine We got our engine removed, and that is a little dirty in there. I didn't actually realize this thing had some rust on it, but it does. Um, I want to get all this oil and shit off of here before we even go any further with trying to get this thing together. Let me hook this belt on there for now. Wait, it don't get damaged. It's a good belt. Um, we need to get this out of the way, so we'll probably take this and probably offload it in the storage down there. I need to uh, plug a couple holes on it though, just to make sure that no crap gets down in there. And then we'll uh, hook to this, drag it up, clean it off, get it ready for its new engine, and then pull it back in here the other direction and get ready to drop this on this unit all right we got the engine put in storage we got our workspace cleaned up ready for the new engine to go on and the general is on the back of the snatch tractor we're gonna go ahead and take it up to the water source clean this thing up and get it ready for its new engine top to bottom inside and out all around the transaxle all in here it is nice and clean no more grease and oil all over it it is ready for its new engine look how clean that is down in there yeah buddy Clean, fresh unit. Starting fresh. So we're gonna go ahead and get this back down to the shop and let it dry for a day or two, and then we'll come back to it. And probably tomorrow, we'll come back out here and uh, start stabbing that uh, opposed twin, getting it set up and ready to run on this unit. So I want to take a quick second and pause video and 
ask y'all to help me with something, I need y'all to do me a favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash that bell. Uh, go like the videos. Uh, you know. Tell me where you're from. Say hi. Whatever. Ask me questions. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Um, and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Um, so definitely go subscribe. Check out the Facebook the uh, Instagram, the Snapchat, and now we have a TikTok. You can just go type in Flying Brown's Garage and you will find me. Um, all the profile pictures are the same. It's easy to find. Um, and yeah, give me some likes, give me some subscribes, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to build this and I can't build it without everybody's help. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, got a lot of good videos coming, constantly coming, um, and I'm constantly sourcing new projects, so stay tuned, and with that being said, let's get back to the video. It is another day out here, guys, <clears throat> on the General, which is sitting right out there. Um, I cleared the way so I could come in here and get to the engine. Um, so far I was able to get the bottom pulley removed, which is a good, good thing. Um, I need to look at the exhaust here and how I've got it mounted. Because I uh, definitely would like to do a two into one on this. I don't know how I want to do it. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this thing ready to stab, honestly. Um, I've got to cut this out of the way, of course. You know what? That whole exhaust is loose. Just cut it off there. Didn't want to, but it's probably best get it out of the way. Then I can readapt it later. Cut off. about anything. Wiggle this just a little bit. Should bust right free from it. There was our exhaust on the general. Let's put this aside.
Boy, it's about to be a tight squeeze on this son of a gun. Woo! That's a big old motor on there. Engine, I'm sorry. Motor is electric. But that gun, that thing's huge. For this little creature here. I'm wondering if the hood's even gonna fit on it. But luckily, since that hood's from a big body, it should. It's kind of wide on the side, so I imagine it will fit over everything. But it sure does look cool. <laughs> oh, I dig it. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to do my exhaust. And, uh, yeah. And we'll have us a good toy. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this engine down. I'm going to set y'all on the uh, camera stand and do a time lapse on it. So. I took a little break. It's uh, really hot out here. Um, found out that the uh, fuel pump on this is a mechanical fuel pump. And it goes into the block right there. That is the coolest thing I've seen on a lawnmower engine. Because that's how my fuel pump is on my 1979 F-150. Or it's a 351. Well, it's a 358 because it's bored, but you know, the the mechanical fuel pumps, like the old classics. That's just cool. That is so cool. Little baby fuel pump. But if you hear it, it's got a good diaphragm in there. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and put it back on. Um, I would like to interrupt this and go ahead and say it's the 3rd of July. Um, so, early, happy 4th. Um, actually, it's going to be way late that y'all get this, but happy late for us. Um, early for me, late for y'all. That's weird. Whatever. Um, but they're going to be having some fireworks tonight up in town, and you can see those from my front porch. So we will probably be sitting out there um, <clears throat> tonight and viewing some fireworks. So might uh, set the camera up and let y'all check that out. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start kind of assembling. I've put together quite a bit on it. We, <clears throat> well, I reversed the spring for the throttle, and I've still got it hooked up to the um, governor. And as you see, it returns the way it needs to now. Um, I've got the catch can hooked up. I'm probably going to have to find a different location for that. Unless we don't run the exhaust through there, then I can use that location. Possibly. Um, we have our gas tank plumbed in. And we have our starter hooked up. A couple other things done. Barely had room for the gas tank, too. But it fit. I just couldn't put it in the exact hole, so I did some self-tappers on each side. We got a better drain for our oil, which is great. That came on this engine. We have a, a body-to-engine ground on this unit. I know a lot of uh, mowers don't need it, but I put one on here anyway, just to make sure I'd have a nice, good ground to everything. So there is a body-to-engine, and then there is a uh, body to body to yeah battery there's also another ground for other contacts that needed to be grounded and stuff like that so there's three grounds on this but I feel like that's best for it make sure it's grounded really well uh, it's probably unnecessary but I'm going overkill on this one 
because I want it to be good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plumb our fuel line through, hook our mechanical pump back up, and start getting the cover on this thing, getting it buttoned up, and seeing what it looks like with the hood on it. Because that's what I'd like to see. Is, is does, does the hood clear? What, what does it look like? You know, that's that's what I need to know. So, let's get y'all on the stand again, and we'll run through throw this fuel pump on real quick, and get a couple other things addressed. pretty much got this thing buttoned up except for the charging system and a couple other wiring things but it is actually wired to start and shut off so everything's up there let's see if the hood fits I sure would like to know if it does got a bunch of planes flying over here and I can't tell if they're spraying chemtrails or oh yeah they are spraying chemtrails. Uh-huh. So I know I got crappy footage of that and I'm sorry, but I'm not the best cameraman by any means um, <clears throat> but my wife told me that that was the air show that was coming through um, she forgot it was happening today and they were uh, spraying like powder or something to create lines and stuff to try to be cool so that's what that was about and uh, it's kind of cool so yeah, we've uh, <clears throat> we've got the hood situated. I still got to figure out what I'm gonna do about the um, air intake there. But for now, it's sealed up a little bit better than pointing forward. The hood does clear, which is awesome. Um. Might have to end up doing some hood straps instead of pins. Because I think that little bit of difference is actually going to make it hit. So, um, everything's pretty much done except for the pulleys on the bottom and doing up the uh, the exhaust putting some fuel in it and a battery all right we have our throttle pedal hooked up and it does operate the carburetor it's a full throttle I'm getting so that is awesome I uh, went ahead and put the pulley on, but I'm working on getting a bolt that is short enough to be able to fit on said pulley. So, otherwise, it's coming together. I got the all the belts on the pulley system down through there. And just got to get that bolt when I come back out tomorrow. Uh... What else? Get that bolt, wire up a couple things, get our exhaust done, get our hood back on and everything hooked up, uh, some gas in the tank and a hot battery on it and it'll be ready to ride again. So, see how much horsepower we got with this bad boy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in and uh, relax with my wife for a little bit because it is our one year anniversary was the first, when it's the third, 
um, when the fireworks are supposed to be going off real soon. So we're probably going to go sit up on the porch and kind of wait for them to start. And then I will, you know, let y'all see a little bit of that action going on. But otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy 4th of July, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed the little bit of fireworks that I captured and the air show that came back through last night. I thought it was pretty cool. I figured I'd capture a little bit for you guys to see and check out. Because like I said, I thought it was just pretty daggum cool. So, um, that being said, I've been out here for quite a bit today. I didn't want to start off the camera with just me not doing anything. So I've actually already got one side of the exhaust done. I could not use our awesome exhaust that we had before. But what I would probably do is I will probably put that on another unit. Probably the Troy built that we re revive. This exhaust is going back on the Kohler with the mud mower. And then this exhaust will go with the Troy built that I lower and build into a cruiser because I think that's the plan for it we're gonna revive it and then we're gonna build it into a lowered cruiser for somebody to cruise around swap meets uh, car shows anything of that sort and then we'll sell it I don't want to mess with speeding it up because it's an F and R if whoever buys it wants to speed it up that is cool but for for now we're just gonna use it as a cruiser build and then sell it to someone who wants to give it a good home and all that good stuff but we're going to go ahead and start working on the other side of the exhaust and then I have to work on shortening this bolt for the pulleys and once I'm done with that we're almost ready to ride this thing guys so just a little bit longer and we'll be able to rip this through the yard to see what it does and I can't wait especially with the new exhaust if we can get it done and be ripping it for the fourth that would be amazing so I'm gonna come over here go ahead and start modding this side getting it all cleaned up and ready to go and then yeah we'll have us an exhaust set up Alright, I just went inside took me a break. Came back out here and decided to go ahead and do the bolt real quick because it was way too long. Went ahead and shortened it up. And now 
that is our shaft right there. So, it's uh, actually pretty good. It's about as far as the shaft comes out of the bottom of the engine anyway. And now it's protected by the covering. So, um, now it's on to working on to the working on the other side of the exhaust. We've got this side left to do. And I have to make oh man. I think it's gonna hit my steering. I guess let's go ahead and start making our mods here up at the engine side. I don't know if that pipe's gonna come off. I doubt it. I'm probably gonna have to cut it on here like I did the other one. That's there rested to the engine. But you know, it is what it is. It's what happens when you pull old engines. But let's uh let's go ahead and start the mod. Got us start an exhaust on this side. I got it tucked close to the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and get us a piece cut out for the long tubing that goes to the back. And then we will look at our trajectory on where we need to cut our pipe and tag it on. So starting to look good though. Starting to look good. Let's see what it looks like from the front. Oh, it actually don't look too bad. And we got that side. And we got this side. It seems to look like they match okay seeing that one head's lower than the other. But hey, it looks pretty good. Let's just get it finished. All right, here we are. Second exhaust pipe. I had to make another cut there and then bring it down. I figured I'd go ahead and do it off camera because it was a lot quicker. It's a lot sturdy. More sturdy than the other exhaust was. And damn, it looks good. It actually looks really good. Everything clears and then the steering is good to go. So, Let's uh let's get this thing sitting on the ground. And we've got to secure our catch can in here somewhere. And then maybe we can take this thing for a ride. So let's uh let's get this thing down and buttoned up. Alright, for the grand reveal. There she is in all of her glory. that back in. Straight pipes. And hood clears. And there she is. 18 691 cc opposed twin Kohler. And there's my catch can in front. It is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. Everything is ready to go. So, unfortunately, I don't have the metals to build a uh, wheelie bar right now, and I need to do a couple other things. But I think that'll be in another video where we'll come through, do a wheelie bar, do some uh, hood pins, 
and a couple other odds and ends like maybe fixing the headlights, fixing the charging system and stuff like that. But otherwise, I think we're ready to take this thing for a ride and it is the 4th so it's the perfect time to do it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get a battery put in this thing and get this thing out, fire it up, see what it does and ride the heck out of it. So let's do it. Alright, so we got it sitting out in the yard with a battery on it. Hook to the van to charge it up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get ready to kick this thing over and start it up for the first time. And I'm going to pump a little gas into the car before we do such things. So let's go ahead and prepare to do that. Get it running, see how it runs.
we rode this thing still has a fuel delivery issue so we're gonna have to address that and we might come out here tomorrow and address that ride it some more because um, i know i didn't get really that much good footage on here my wife was too busy filming on her phone for tiktok so um try to get some more on here tomorrow so y'all see actually what it does but it seems pretty daggum powerful and it's a lot of fun and the weight in the front did help with my steering and a lot a couple other things especially with donuts so it might have been a win-win but i still think it's the same speed as it was before but you know it's all good it looks good the, the duels out the back sounds good all that good stuff so i uh, will see you guys out here tomorrow on this again another and last day on the general because i got to move on to other projects last night we got this thing running we ripped it around the yard a little bit it rode pretty good it ran pretty good except it would die out and then it didn't want to fire back up <clears throat> I like it may have a fuel delivery issue I'm not sure but I'd like to kind of get into it today figure if we could get this thing start going again and ride a little more and my camera's fogging up my bad guys hold on ride it a little more and then put this thing up because we have other things to get to so let's get into it for today and get this thing running right
I'm trying to rip it around a little bit to see what it does. Well, unfortunately, as y'all saw from a distance, came to a stop. Well, why did I come to a stop, you may ask. First was, I blew the freaking tire right off of the rim on the front, and the rim is now bent. And also, I lost the belt on the transaxle. So, I guess we need to Get some fix it stuff and come down here and fix it. All right, had to go get cooled off. This is hot out here, so had to go put my you know, cool clothes on. Uh, we're down here at the general. That is what the wheel is looking like. It's quite bent, so we got a wheel to replace it with. We're gonna jack it up. And uh, I got to get this tire straight first. You see, the bead's not set right, so I want to get it set right, get it aired up, and then get it put on. All right, we got the general back together. Got some snapper front wheels on it for now. I put the dry rotted tire on the left and the good one on the right because I'm always turning left really hard so I don't want to stress it. I figured the best tire on the right would be the best for now so I get another one. But let's fire this thing up see what she does. Try this again.
guys we see it'll do a burnout I still got some tweaking to do on that carburetor or something still not right with it but I will figure it out um, but we're gonna go ahead and call this video finished I think it did pretty good we got a little ride out of it and uh, yeah sounds good for sure so hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed building this unit or modifying this built on it um the next episode on the general we will more than likely be putting on some uh, wheelie bars and probably trying to fix the carburetor get the wiring hooked up for the charging system and get the headlights hooked up a couple other things here and there maybe a new tire for this front side and uh yeah so go down there and leave a like for me if you don't mind i surely would appreciate that especially if you made it to this part of the video um comment down below if you have any questions or want to say something anything um i try to respond to everybody um and subscribe if you haven't done so yet be sure to hit the all notification bell that way you're notified every time i drop a new video which is once a week but i try to do twice a week sometimes um just depends on what's going on and in the shop so be sure to follow the facebook instagram snapchat and the tiktok the only one that's different is the snapchat it's an avatar the rest of them are the same profile picture as the youtube channel so all you got to do is go to those profiles or those platforms type in flying brown's garage in the search engines and you should find me those are pretty much uh sneak peeks and what's going to come advance warning i don't know we post different stuff to those, so y'all be sure to follow those if you have those platforms. And be sure to check out some of the older videos and stay tuned for some of the newer videos to come. And I'd like to say thank you. We are at like 316 right now as I speak. Um, subscribers and climbing. So hopefully we can continue to climb and continue to grow. So maybe hopefully one day we'll get monetized and start being able to invest some of this money back into the shop. Maybe get a little better things out of here. So, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next episode.